The times are changing. It was March 9, 8 in the evening, as I was lying on my bed, forcing myself to accomplish an assessment due the next day, when my phone rang with a notification. It said no classes, all levels, from March 10 to March 14, 2020, as per John Vicremulia. I'm not gonna lie when I say I felt a slight sense of relief. I immediately turned off my laptop and easily closed my eyes. Today is May 1, and it has been exactly 11 weeks since the beginning of the Enhanced Community Quarantine, or ECQ. I never left my house, and yet I feel as if I'm in a foreign land. Our people are suffering, and the government is performing poorly and dishonestly. Before the ECQ, many people are already adamant in implementing the travel ban from China to Philippines, and yet they disregarded our call. A week into the ECQ, people are uncertain of the protocol due to its vague and drastic implementation. Furthermore, our frontliners lack support in funds, transport, and personal protective equipment. Amidst the insufficiency in the health sector, the military are given much and quick attention. And though their supposed purpose is clear, it is alarming how many human rights are violated by these people who swore to protect us. The priority is clear, and it leaves me thinking, how come they have money for war and none for health security? Every day when I wake up, I keep remembering the night when I felt that slight sense of relief while knowing well how very serious this pandemic is. I am guilty. I heaved a sigh of relief while someone can be taking their last breath. I can choose to stay quiet and be optimistic, but I refuse to pretend and wait because this is the future of my generation. If there is anything that I learned from having feelings, it is to acknowledge it in order to grow. And this time, I want to acknowledge my fears and hold my sigh of relief. Thank you very much.